Good morning and welcome to Health Nut. My name is Brooke Watson and I am your host. Today we are going to be learning about all the amazing benefits that papaya has with our special nutritionist on the show. And we're going to have a chef show us how to make papaya cupcakes. We're lucky enough to have world renowned chef Emily here, who is the winner of the latest cooking show, Master Chef, in LA. So let's bring her on out here. Give her a round of applause. Thanks, Rook. I'm so excited to be here. We're so happy to have you. So you want to tell us a little about what we're making? Yes, so we're making papaya cupcakes. So what you're going to do is you're going to begin by preheating your oven to 325. And we've actually already added all the ingredients in. But what you're going to need to do is um, add some butter and some sugar and cream until it's a light yellow. Then add the eggs till it's fluffy and add on the papaya. Are we going to add the whole papaya? We are. are you? So you're going to mash up the entire papaya and add it in. And then you're going to add some macadamia nuts if you like, some flour, cinnamon, allspice, whatever you kind of feel like. And then we're also going to add some baking soda. So would you mind adding some baking soda? Do the soda? honors. Thank you. So, okay. Yes. Go. Okay. Well. And then, oh. Yeah, what's next? <laughs> you're gonna just fill the muffin tins about three fourths full and then throw them in the oven for 25 minutes and you're good to go. Very nice. Yes. Well, while these are cooking, let's go ahead and cut to our nutritionist who's with our audience and learn about all the amazing benefits the hidden gem of the papaya has. Hi, I'm Corey and I'm the nutritionist today here to talk to you about the science behind the enzyme papain. Papain is an enzyme that is found in mature unripe papaya and can be extracted from the latex, leaves, and roots of the plant. Uh, it exists as one of the four cysteine endopeptidases in papaya and functions to help break down the proteins. Also, it is used for pain, inflammation, and fluid retention following trauma and surgery. It can also be used as a digestive aid, a treatment for parasitic worms, inflammation, and throat and pharynx, shingle symptoms, hay fever, diarrhea, and psoriasis. But Hallie, who is an audience member who has a few questions. Hallie, what are your questions? Well, first I would like to know, um, what does papain look like? Great question, Hallie. I actually have a diagram to show you what the structure of papain looks like. This is what papain looks like in the fruit of the papaya. This simulation clearly shows the presence of the alpha helices and beta sheets as represented by the squigglies and arrows, respectively. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, what are the active site residues of papain? That's a great question. Great question, Hallie. But first, let's talk about how papain is an enzyme that exists as a single chain polypeptide comprised of 345 amino acid residues. The mature peptide's important structures include three disulfide bridges and a sulfohydryl group that is crucial to the enzyme's activity. I have a picture to show you about the, the active sites. The active site residues are cysteine 25, histidine 159, and asparagine 175. These active sites contain seven subsites which have substrate preference for hydrophobic or aromatic residues. So, could you explain the mechanism of papain and how that works? The mechanism begins when a peptide binds to the active site. Cysteine 25 is then deprotonated by histidine 159 and attacks the substrate carbonyl carbon. a covalent tetrahedral intermediate that is stabilized by an oxyanion hole. Next, histidine 159 acts as a general acid, protonating the nitrogen in the peptide bond, which acts as a leaving group as the carbonyl reforms. This now free C-terminal portion of the peptide is released. Water then enters the active site and attacks the carbonyl carbon while it is deprotonated by histidine 159, again forming an oxyanion hole to stabilize the tetrahedral covalent intermediate. Finally, the carbonyl reforms and the cysteine 25 sulfur acts as a leaving group, releasing the N terminal portion of the peptide and regenerating the enzyme. This is the basic mechanism of papain catalyzed proteolysis. Proteolysis is the breakdown of proteins into smaller polypeptides or amino acids. So what happens when you eat papain? Like, does it help your body? 
Great Cornell's, go see if the cupcakes are done. Wow, that was some great information, don't you think? Oh my gosh, I never knew any of that. I know, who knew that Pat Payne was inside of this enzyme and could do all those amazing things for your body? A little papaya, who knew? I know, that's crazy. Thank it you is. so much, Dr. Corey. That was a lot of valuable information. Should we see what our product looks yes. like? Let's go see. Wow, yeah. they look so delicious. Don't they? I had a little sugar on top because I like my little sweeter, but that's just my two cents. So. All right. Should we give them a try? Yes, let's. Wow. That's really good. Those are delicious. You can really taste the pat pain, <laughs> can't you? You really can. I can feel the inflammation in my pharynx clearing up already. <laughs> so. There's that for you all. This has been Health Nut, and don't forget to go buy your papayas and get all the amazing benefits that Papain has to offer. Let's give Emily another round of applause. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone.